What is going on, button pushers? Welcome back to the channel. My name is David. Today we're going to be talking about this lens right here. It's the Dezo Film Pictor Zoom 20 to 55 millimeter lens. Honestly, guys, I picked this lens up for the red Komodo right here, which, which it's mounted on right now. And honestly, it is one of the most amazing lenses I've used in a while. And I really, really love it. It is actually my first cinema lens, like my first actual cinema lens. And I'm really in love with it. So first of all, let's talk about the build of the lens. We're going to get three gears here. We're going to get the focus gear, the zoom gear, and the manual aperture control. Now, keep in mind, this is a full cinema lens, meaning it's completely manual, no control of anything, no autofocus, no aperture control straight from the camera. Everything is built in on the lens. So yeah, keep that in mind if you're looking to get this lens. I really love the design of this lens. I love the colors. I love the yellowish green that kind of counterbalances and contrasts with the black. It really looks nice for the overall quality of the build. And the lens itself is built super, super sturdy. It's like something I wouldn't worry about dropping, but honestly, please don't drop the lens. It's pretty expensive and I wouldn't recommend dropping it. Don't do it. The gears feel really nice when you're turning them. They're super, super smooth. The throw is amazing. And something that's really awesome is that it comes actually with EF and a PL mount. So if you guys are looking to switch between the two, it's really good for that. And you're kind of future proofing yourself. So maybe in the future, you want to work with more cameras. EF and PL are probably the most used mounts ever. It also comes with shims, which really help you with the parfocal zoom. And if you don't know what parfocal is, it's actually so when you're zooming in, the focus kind of gets thrown off. Usually when you when you're using any regular lens like the 18 to 35 or the 24 to 70. But with parfocal, when you zoom in, the focus remains the same. It stays constant and you don't have to refocus. And that is one thing that I really like about this lens. If let's say I'm operating by myself and I'm zooming in, doing a you know live zoom or a you know push or something you don't have to really worry about refocusing you don't have to really worry about you know having someone there to focus for you because it is a par focal lens and that is super amazing to have granted it does take a little bit of time to set it up because you do have to do the shims by yourself you got to go into the lens the back of it change out the adapter and then just throw in the shims in front of it and then screw it back in but after you get it done you don't really have to touch it anymore and it works amazing and I love it. The images that come out of this lens are really amazing because like they cover everything from 20 to 55 at an aperture of 2.8, which is really, really good. And honestly, the images are super crispy, super amazing, and they still give off a nice filmic look. And paired with the Komodo, the footage is, phew, footage is insane. If anything, I would have two complaints about this lens. One is the weight, but you can't really help that. You're getting a lot of stuff out of this from the 20 to 55, and it is super amazing. The glass is beautiful, and you need the space for all three of the gears. And it also stays equivalent to its counterpart, which is the, what is it, 55 to 125 or 50 to 125 or something, the other Diesel Film Pictor Zoom, which is still actually really amazing and definitely a further focal length, so it's required to be a lot heavier. And the other thing I would complain about is actually the length of the lens. The length of the lens makes it hard for me to use on the Komodo on a Movi Pro or something because it is super, super front heavy, especially if I want to try on a matte box. I actually can't use a matte box because it will make it too front heavy. So I can't use a matte box on this lens on the Movi Pro unless I'm doing it, you know, handheld or something. That's the only way I can use a matte box. And the Komodo is just super light. So maybe if I was using something like a Gemini or a Alexa Mini or something, this would actually work out really, really, really well. But the Komodo is very light, so it's very hard for me to run this on the Movi because it's so front heavy. So maybe I might get a shorter lens like the Tokina 11 to 20 or something for that. But aside from that, the 20 to 55 Pictor Zoom is such an amazing lens. And if you are looking at it and considering it at all, I would definitely recommend getting it, especially because it's not even that expensive compared to, you know, other lenses like Sigma Primes and all the Sigma Zooms and stuff for cinema lenses. This, it comes in at about 2100 or so. And that is super, super good, especially for the quality that comes out of it. If you guys are thinking about it, if you guys are even looking at it, do it. It's worth it. You're future-proofing yourself with the EF and the PL mount lens. The images are absolutely amazing. There's a bunch of gears. It's a parafocal zoom, so you can do a lot of, like, dolly zooms and, you know, the whole parallaxing effect. And you can even just do, like, the punch zooms where you just go super fast, like in the office or something. 
it's really amazing and i really definitely recommend this to you guys anyways that's all for today's video guys just another quick video for you guys talking about this lens i really love gear gear is the best i love hoarding gear let me know in the comments below if you guys were considering this lens or maybe if you were considering it in contrast with another lens because i was actually considering this or the token 11 to 20 and both are really good and you should definitely get both but if you can only afford one i don't know it's a pretty hard decision there but make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i'll see you guys in the next video have an amazing day keep pushing buttons and i'll see you next time peace